And this is a ZVT, as you so rightly said, Snorlax. Yep. And the toughest thing about ZVT on this map is the fact it is so open at the natural expansion for the Zerg. So it is very easy for Terran to get in there and either deny it or just completely roll it when the expansion that comes up. A quick extractor trick here for Shibby. So already a little ahead in supply, but the supply depot is coming down for Orc, so it won't be that far ahead for long. So I'm just trying to get everything sorted. That is fine. Very standard at the moment, enough, no silly shenanigans. Barracks coming down for Shibby on 11 supply. No, wait, 12 supply, I stand corrected. And a first gas coming down for, for GG Orc. Spawning pool coming down for Shibby over here, so we're not, we may, see, we're probably going to see some Ling harassment here. It will be driven out by the barracks, probably, seeing as Gigi Orc is walling in with this barracks, so won't see too many shenanigans from this. Also, Shibby hasn't scouted yet, so he doesn't know what's he doesn't know what's coming at all. But it's pretty safe to assume that there is already a barracks out when you're going against Terran. Orc is scouting his opponent here. Sees there's no natural up already, so quite an, so he already knows very little actually. <laughs> it's very hard to tell when you're playing a Zerg. <laughs> and an engineering bay going down the, on Shibby's natural here, so that'll deny that for a while. This SCV will probably die though, eventually, once this drone realises what it's doing. But here come two links and they will clear this up easily and eventually they will find a way to nibble through that engineering bay. And will the SCV get away? It's almost... No, it goes down. Dies a horrible and painful death via nibbling zergling. Battery going down for GG Orc and a free roaches coming out for Shibby. So this could be quite interesting. Could be seeing some Hellion versus Roach play. Maybe interesting. Or he could be using that factory to go straight into tanks. A reactor going down on the barracks, so again it's possible could be seeing Marine Tank or yep. he could be getting ready to swap it round for Marine Hellion. Yeah, we will see. Sorry, I'm back now. Sorry. Yeah, we, right. we will see the old switch here from the on the reactor from the factory. So we will see a reactor hello, a, a re reactor hellion opening, and we do see the expansion going down, which is very standard here. We do have a secret roach warren going up. I don't think any, um, Orc has scouted that. No, he hasn't. So he doesn't actually aware of this roach warren being up at the minute. But Shibby has taken his. Natural expansion here, which means that he's not going to apply any early pressure, which I thought he would have done with this early Roach Warren. Yep. Second Queen coming up for Shibby here, so that's obviously going to move down to the natural when it goes up. Some Ling, some Ling and some Roaches attacking the wall off of Orc here. These Hellions will drive it back, but Shibby may get the reactor here, which would be really annoying if it weren't for these lings being roasted. But the reactor does go down, and the roaches are inside the base. But roaches aren't very good against hellions, so they are probably going to die. No, roaches are very good against hellions, actually. Um, oh? It's hellions that aren't very good against the roaches, but he's having to pull the SCVs here to try I've and get... I've got mixed up here, I stand corrected. Yep, he's pulling the SCVs. He will eventually clean this up. Two roaches do go down to the hellions as they were on very low health, and that last roach will go down very shortly. Ouch. Yep, burning it very slowly. Suppose the roaches are armoured units. Uh, the flames oh, yeah. isn't actually and very good against them, apart from the actual lings themselves. So we've got five more roaches in production here for Shibby to help defend against these three uh, hellions as they make their way up the field to Spine wards. Spinecrawler are going up as well to defend against this, so these hellions may not get as much damage as they hope, but they are going straight into the main base, right past the queen. Oh, roasted drone. Delicious, delicious roasted drone. Yeah. But the, these roaches here are going to murder those Hellions if they get near enough. 
Yeah, definitely. I think what Shibi is planning on doing here is scouted Orc's base, and they've seen that Orc has not uh, a great deal in his main base at the minute, so he may be just taking these regions to go straight across the field, back down to the main. We do have a bunker down here, though, with three Marines currently sitting inside it. A fourth soon to be popping out straight into there at the minute. But it is looking quite dangerous for Orc to try and take his natural expansion at the minute as well. So he's just yeah, Shibi is piling on the pressure here, preventing him from taking any expansion at all really, holding him on one base, yep. which is what a Zerg really needs to do, just make sure they have more bases than their opponent and they can usually stay ahead. Yep, we do. Aliens are going to be... Sorry, go on. Yeah, I was going to say exactly the same, a couple of aliens making their way up the field as well, <laughs> but we do have a spine crawler and the Queens here to help defend against this. Two aliens aren't yep. going to do much damage against these because they're still only uh, Red Flame as well at the minute. We there are three more roaches in production as well, which will kill off these aliens if the Queen doesn't do it. Yep. It one down already. Looks like Shibby is going to hold, uh, going to probably push back when he sees this bunker here. We do have two Marines popping out now. One Marine does go down straight away. He's going to try and bust through this reactor, but it's not going to happen. And Orc manages to hold off that little push as it drives Shibby back a little bit as well, waiting for that natural expansion to go down as well. Indeed. A couple of roaches over here are taking care of the destructible debris to allow him to take a third a lot easier. And a macro hatch going down for Shibi as well, so really boosting his economy here. Many marines out for Orc, and he has got a tech lab down on that factory, so we are probably going to see some siege tanks, and yep, here comes the first siege tank. Yep. And also Banshee and Cloak, so this could be interesting. This is going to be amazing against those roaches. Yeah, but we do have the layer tech about halfway finished right now, so he will be able to transform a few overlords into overseers to see that. He does have quite a few queens currently on the field at the minute. Uh, that with is true. Two queens, so he should be able to help ca take care of this if only just the one banshee meets up. Though I'm not too sure about this. Shibi is just starting to spread his creep a little bit. He's managed to save his roach, roach warring by spreading the creep there, so that will slowly regenerate. And is now slowly connecting his main base with his natural as well. Is he just Indeed. still hasn't taken a third yet here by Shibi, so I think this is maybe a bit of a mistake. I would have probably taken that He's third a, bit a little slow. Yeah. yeah. Take it and then break the destructible debris, just go around. Yep, so we do have his banshee here. Shibi knows that these are on for us now. We do have a spire starter as well for Shibi as the evolution chamber does about to finish up, so we're about to get a few spores down very shortly. The Banshee doing pretty well, he's currently on four kills at the minute, he does go back in with and there scouts. There is a baneling nest down for Shibby here, so it'll be interesting to see what he does with that, if he gets any banelings out. Yep, definitely. Lots of lings in production. Do have 22 lings in production, this Banshee got 11 kills at the minute, Sergeant Banshee it is, his three queens do follow it. <laughs> the Spore Crawler is now up. Waiting. And sees it, would it get out of there, he gets out of there with 14 health, so that's really good there oh. from the Banshee. Banshee. Lucky Banshee. Yep, 11 kills, very successful with the Banshee there, as Shibi now does take his third as well. We do see Boro on the way for Shibi as well. Spire, three quarters of the way finished now as well, as Orc does have his natural expansion now up as well, and also blocking off the natural corridor here around the back. Here come the Lings to try and take down the expansion, but that tank is going to destroy... But no, the Lings are getting us around on the tank, and that will go down if he's not careful, and there it goes, but... All but one of the lings die there, so that single ling is running for its life here. <laughs> yep, so we do see a bit of an even exchange there, just the one tank for the handful of um, lings at the minute. So it's really good there, Manage, all managed to hold on, push Shibby back with that Banshee and the number of marines that he has at the minute as well. 11 muters coming out for Shibby here, so and level 1 flyer, level one flyer attacks, so... These muters are going to be harassing and probably do quite a lot of damage, seeing as Orc doesn't really have that much anti-air other than these marines. Yep. Is, uh, I stand corrected, he is throwing down three, <laughs> three turrets. Yep, three turrets are just on their way now for uh, Orc. I don't think they're going to make it before the muters arrive, though, so that's going to be annoying. Oh, oh, no, one of them does finish. But he will be able to take out this turret with a bit of micro there. He does manage to get one of the um, muters away. As he does carry on, he will find a second that one as well. Three hit points. Yep. Yeah, these marines will chase these muters out of here. So they'll take, pick off a few marines and then just move it away at the time as well. Let them regenerate health. Yep. 
back in Shibby's base at the moment. We've got five more meters on the way and a few more uh, 16 lings on the way. Orc does have that level infantry weapons level one on the way as well. Stimpak is just about to finish up. Now pumping out two tanks at a time as well. Barracks are working overtime producing marine after marine after marine with two reactors and the tech lab. He hasn't started that combat shield yet, which he will need very shortly to give those marines that extra 10 health. That update is an update. I keep saying update other than upgrade. <laughs> that upgrade is never used enough, and yet it's such a good upgrade for marines when you're put facing muters. Because muters do quite a lot of damage. A little changeling coming in here, but doesn't fool anyone. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like we're going to have a bit of a push here by York, GG Orc. He's going to start moving up here, go down to the third... Um, I think these muters are coming in to either harass the base or sneak around the back of the tanks, but no, it looks like he's going straight to... Nope, he's, he's stopped. He's going back again, never mind. Yep, I mean, these tanks are undefended at the minute. A few muters just yeah, came if down. He sees them, if he sees them, uh, there he goes. The marines have stimmed, so he needs to get those muters out of there or they are going to die. Oh, he's going to be so close. Some lovely micro but here come the bailings. Nice Oh, just split. targeted down beautifully by Orc. Yep. How much shot this thing up? Lovely, Sorry, I'm being called. It's okay. Lovely split there by GG Orc, actually taking out the bailings before they actually do hit the Marines. So very good, nice control there by Orc. Um, so favour exchange there for Orc, definitely. He's got the hatchery down as well. So he has pushed uh, Shibby back onto two bases, exactly the same as GG Orc, as the third expansion is just about to finish up now for GG Orc as well. So I think about taking that soon. We do have a big push going off here. Oh. Link's coming round, stimming. Tanks see job, but maybe the legs are going for the tanks. The muters are just going to murder these things. Yeah, GG. But no, the tanks all go down, but Shibby does hold it. Oh, the bailing on the marines. Bailing Brutal. mine. That was a bailing mine underneath the marines. There's taking out most of the marines. Do get all the muters here as well. Just get one more roach. Will he ever to get a second one? No. Oh, just run that one marine right back to his home base this, as well. This corruptor is going to chase the medevac and probably get it down, which is a lot of gas lost for Orc here. Yeah, definitely. He might be able to stay on. Yep, he'll oh, be able to stay. Manages to get away with nine health. <laughs> Very lucky medevac here. GG Orc is destroying the rocks, uh, the destructible rocks outside the goal base, so he will be taking a third base very soon. Yep, as Shibi does take his gold expansion as well, he has taken that down, and he's also retaken his natural third as well. So it looks like GG Orc is just going to go straight up here for the gold expansion and not bother with his third expansion uh, down here in the bottom corner either. Indeed, he is turreting it up to protect against these muters. And there is a spine crawler going down for Shibby as well to protect his gold. So this will be interesting. These muters are going in, though. They are trying to pick off a tank here. These marines are coming in to try and save it. But the tank does go down. And the muters do get out of there. GG Orc has got this position very well locked down, though. He's got turrets on the base, a planetary fortress going up to protect it, and five siege tanks blocking this, plus the marines and the medevacs, of course. But he's got this very well defended. Oh, and if you look here by the Zelnaga caverns... And we have a ling run by going down... Ling mines. We have a ling oh, run by going do. down into the natural here, so those supply depots were down, causing these lings able to get in there, but it does clean that up very nicely there. Good reactions there by GG Orc. As these muters are just floating around at the minute, looking at the unit count. We only have 10 muters at the minute, but 42 lings, 7 bailings as well. Four of them here at the Exel Naga Cavern uh, watchtower, buried as well. And it looks like GG Orc is moving that way, but he does have sneaky, a scan. Oh. And he does clean that up very nicely. If you look here, if you look in the units lost tab, though, you can see that GG Orc is quite a long way ahead when it comes to unit when it comes to the amount of units he's killed. Yep, definitely. And these tanks are just going to murder this gold base. The mutants, there's nothing they can do because of the beautiful spread on these marines. Chasing them off. Couple borrowed bailings around here, but not really in the correct positions to be much help to save this. And should be GG's. So there's a GG by Shibby. Orc does advance through to the next round of the UK Open. 
Week six. Uh, sorry. It's fine. Okay. Okay. So I'll try and update everything now. Just getting it fixed. All right. See if it works. 